Over 30% of Americans consider themselves addicted to social media. All the beautiful people, the fancy cars, and lavish lifestyles are being shoved in our faces daily by all the different apps we have on our smartphones. We live in a time where we're drowning in information, but we're starving for actual knowledge. Most of the stuff we take in anyway is not even retained throughout the days. Social media overuse completely hijacks your dopamine circuitry. Whenever you pick up your phone and you start doom scrolling endlessly, your dopamine levels spike so much. And the more you do it, the higher the spike is. But the problem is after the fact, is once your dopamine levels go down, they don't just go back down to baseline, they go even further. So the farther out you go, the harder the crash is after the fact. Low levels of dopamine result in tiredness, anxiety, low levels of motivation, difficulty focusing, feelings of hopelessness, trouble enjoying previously pleasurable activities, and so much more. To actually break addictive social media habits, Awareness is the very first step. Every time you doom scroll, become aware of how you're doing it and what might be triggering it in the first place. You may come across some fascinating realizations. Check yourself and really ask, am I getting anything out of this at all? Am I just wasting time? Am I just trying to not be bored? What are you really getting out of this? Becoming aware of it will help you start to realize how much of an issue it could potentially be. And this could help you focus on intentional actions to resolve the issue when present. Another tip to help you with all your doom scrolling is to practice meditative techniques. This will help you step back from all of the chaos and really become more present with the current moment. One amazing meditation for this is the Sri Yantra. I go into deep detail around this meditation and even do a full guided session in the video linked below. This meditation technique is super cool because it helps you with your focus, calms your mind, it really helps you become more present, and it actually has been shown to help people with addictive tendencies. I guarantee that this can help a massive majority of you watching if you actually put in the work and consistently practice this technique. There's actually a couple really simple behavioral science techniques that tap into your psychology to help you break these bad habits as well. The first is to swap your bad habits. For example, instead of scrolling endlessly before bed and after you wake up, replace those habits with things like listening to calming music or getting some natural sunlight right after you wake up. When those addictive tendencies come up, try and redirect your actions as quickly as you can. Try socializing with a friend or going to the gym and exercising. The more you can quickly divert your attention and focus your actions elsewhere, the quicker you can start to train yourself to redirect your thinking as well. By habit swapping, you can improve your psychological health by partaking in healthier behaviors and thought patterns that replace unhealthy and unproductive ones. Another thing you can do to break your addictive social media tendencies is to delete the apps entirely or even set limits to control your accessibility. Turn off your notifications. Notifications are super addictive triggers that will actually draw your attention away from everything else and make you focus back on your phone. Get rid of them to ease these urges and try to keep your phone away from you. If your phone is obnoxiously far away from you, it makes it so much harder to actually indulge in these dopaminergic activities. Consider turning off your automatic logins. By making it as inconvenient as possible to log in every single time, it will dramatically increase the chances of you not giving in as much to these addictive behaviors. Something that all of these tips have in common is that they make it super annoying to get that thing that's giving you the huge dopamine spike in the first place. When something is even slightly more difficult for us or even out of the way, it makes it much easier to avoid that habit. To tie this all together and really drive the point home, I wanna share a super interesting study with you. This study involved researchers looking at ice cream sales and how they were affected by freezer doors. Over a four week period, 
the researchers set up ice cream freezers throughout a grocery store. Some of these freezers had open doors, some had closed doors, and some had partially open doors. They actually found a significant difference in ice cream sales purely based on the doors. The ice cream freezers with the open doors saw much larger sales numbers than the other two door setups, closed or partially opened. This study suggests that people tend to go with things that have the least resistance. They go with the easiest and quickest options. This shapes their daily behaviors and thought patterns. Learning from the ice cream study, the more we can make things difficult, the more likely we are to not do them. Make it as annoying as possible to get into the apps and use your phone. It will help you shape behaviors over time. Let me know in the comments if you struggle with social media addiction. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jeff and my goal is to make psychology make sense. Thanks for hanging out. One other thing you can do to help with social media cravings is to actually just do nothing and relax. Get bored and do dopamine detoxes. Get outside and walk around. Practice mindfulness and take a step back from everything. Feel the breeze and really immerse yourself in those moments. Our brains never really have time to rest these days. We're always looking at screens, constantly flooding our brains with endless stimulation. There's no breaks whatsoever. The more often you can step back and actually live in the real world, the better off you'll be. Try taking up some hobbies, make some new friends, go on trips or spend time with things that just aren't as exciting. Our brains aren't designed to be fully stimulated and excited every second of the day. Take time with all of this and make sure you practice very intentionally. Start with awareness, meditate to rewire your brain and train your focus with a new sense of mindfulness. Utilize habit swapping and the behavioral science phone tricks I shared. Remember the ice cream study results and don't forget to step back and get a little bored once in a while. If you practice what I discussed in this video, you'll soon see incredible results. If you're interested in other topics in psychology, be sure to check out my last video on a fascinating piece of research around suicide. So for all things psychology to help you think, feel, and perform better, stay tuned right here on Psychology of Living.